I'm going to show you the difference between a good pair of mink lashes and a wannabe mink lash. You are murder me. You are murder, 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 murder me. You are murder, 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 murder me. Hey guys, welcome back. So today I have some new lashes that I want to introduce to you guys. These are from <clears throat> Ace Lashes and they are just beautiful. So I'm quickly going to show you guys how I put on my lashes because I do still get a lot of questions about like the steps to use to apply your lashes. And I'm also going to show you guys like the difference between a good pair of like mink lashes and a bad pair of mink lashes. Like how you can tell the difference basically. First thing you want to do when applying your lashes, you definitely want to apply like a really thin coat of um, mascara to your natural lashes first just because um, it makes it easier to kind of locate where you're gonna drop or where you're gonna place your lashes so uh, today I'm using the huge mascara by um, Stila which this one is starting to dry out but I kind of like that sometimes when they start to dry out because the mascara is not as liquidy it just kind of stays and it doesn't smear as much so a nice even coat so now you want to take your lashes but gently remove them from the container so what i like to do is i like to remove this little plastic part here i like to take that out and i like to bend it just so that you can kind of see the lash and you can just gently remove it like that. See how easy that was? So I like to work with one lash at a time. What I'm going to do now is just kind of measure, which is your next step. So I do have pretty small eyes for the most part and I always have to trim my lashes. So with this one... I'm going to trim the inner corner which is right over here because I don't really care for this part here. So I'm taking my small scissors and I'm just going to cut two from the inside. Make sure your scissors are really nice and sharp. And I'm going to go back and measure again. See if I need to cut any more. Mm, that looks better. But I'm going to take just one more off of the front. Perfect. So now what you want to do is take your glue. What I've noticed is that the duo glue works the best for me. This one is latex free and it just keeps my lashes on. Like I don't understand when girls complain about their lashes coming off. I can never relate because that never happens to me. So I'm just going to brush it on the band, only the band of the lash. Thin coat is enough. And then I'll just kind of sit it back downward, back on the plastic, just anywhere. If you guys can see that. And I'm going to move on to getting the other one prepped. So that way the glue has time to get really nice and tacky and uh, it'll be ready to be applied whenever perfect so by now my other lash should be pretty much ready to be applied so i'm just gonna go ahead and do that and you see how i'm looking down into the mirror that's kind of what you want to do because you can look through your lashes and see exactly where you need to place the falsies and I like to apply them with my finger. Sometimes I use like a lash applicator or tweezers. But with tweezers, you have to be very careful because you can easily poke your eye out. And what I like to do, and this is very optional, I like to kind of take my fingers and just pinch them. That way I know they are as close as possible to my natural lashes.
Okay, so for the next part of the video, I'm going to show you the difference between a good pair of mink lashes and a wannabe mink lash. Okay, so mink lashes aren't cheap and you invest in them because you want to be able to reuse them multiple times. So with that being said, if your mink lashes look like this, then you should get your money back. If the band of your lashes look like this, you should get your money back because they will definitely not last you. Um, these lashes are from Alibaba, by the way, so beware. So not to mention, if your lashes are shedding like this, and this is with one hand, so I'm not even being rough, this is just unacceptable. And that's just lipstick on my hand, by the way. Um, but yeah, this is unacceptable, and you should definitely get your money back. Now these are another pair of the Ace Lashes, which are the lashes that I do recommend because I've been using them for a while and I do love them. Um, their link will be below. And as you can see, the band is very sturdy and I'm not getting any shedding no matter how rough I am with them. And they look really good on. So yeah, that's basically it. I hope you guys learned something new from this. Don't forget to thumbs up and subscribe and I will see you very soon with a new video. Bye!